The struggle for supremacy is eternal, inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and darkness. These are dark times, times without hope. Men of faith claim that this is a test from God to strengthen our spirit. Perhaps this is true, or perhaps it is simply a pious lie. If it is true, darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind. Who are you? I am Gabriel. I have traveled here seeking the Guardian of the Lake. You are from the Order? They sent you? How do I find him? He... He will find you. In the forest. What motivates a man to confront the challenges that most of us would run from? Condemning him to solitude, exposing him to defeat and death. The answer is love, a force so powerful that all reason becomes blind to it, blind to all things, even the truth. Loss of love can make a man desperate, desperate enough to do anything to bury the truth, to hide from its pain. Travel no further. You will find what you seek ahead.
show yourself. The Brotherhood needs your help. I need your help. I know who you are, Gabriel. I am the guardian of the Lake of Oblivion, where the living can communicate with the dead. Tell me, warrior. Are you aware of what is happening in the world? We have been deserted by God. Creatures from the Void come to claim the souls of men. To wipe mankind from the face of the Earth. And what of the Elders of your Order? What do they think? That God has not abandoned us. They believe that a powerful spell has been unleashed by someone or something. A spell that has isolated our world from the heavens. Cutting us off from God. And allowing evil to flourish unchecked. Why have the Brotherhood of Light sent you to the Lake of Oblivion? They have dreamt that a message waits for me at this lake. A message that holds a clue to our salvation. I was instructed to seek you out, in the hope that you may show me the path. The Elders believe that these dreams are the last message from the heavens, and that you should know something that we are unaware of. Is that it? Yes. My wife. Marie was murdered not two days ago by the evil that roams these lands. Her soul and those of the recently departed are trapped here and cannot find peace. And that is why they sent you to the Lake of Oblivion, because they believe that she is waiting for you here to deliver a message to you. Yes. Will you help me? Only the most deserving of the living are worthy of speaking to the dead. Are you worthy, Gabriel? What does this mean? Tell me! Only that you have passed the test. You appear worthy of entering the Lake of Oblivion. Make sure you have your daggers with you. One never knows when need may arise.
me your dagger! Quickly! Marie! Forgive me. I was not there to save you. There is nothing to forgive, my love. I am so happy to look upon your face again. And I yours. My love, the elders of the Order hope that you can help us to understand what is happening. The world has been isolated from the heavens. Some believe that God has abandoned us. Can it be true? I feel that... that the spirits are trying to talk to me. They whisper things to me. It is hard to understand them all. It, it is so dark. So many people crying. I cannot find them in the blackness. I'm scared. There is something else. A shadow is on my mind. You must help us, Gabriel. What are they telling you? Who are they? They are the spirits who founded your order. And that the power of the Lords of Shadow is the key. They talk of a prophecy. I don't understand what they mean. I can feel myself fading. I can hardly see you. Darkness is closing around me. I Marie. love you, Gabriel. Don't go, Marie. I love you too. Why are you here? Who sent you? I am Zobek, a warrior of your brotherhood. Pan and I are old acquaintances. He felt you would be in need of my assistance. I have heard of you. I am sorry. My name is Belmont. I know who you are. Is that the spirit of someone you know? Yes. It was my wife. Forgive me. I couldn't help but overhear what she told you. It sounds like the spirits who founded our order are trying to tell us something very important through her. What do you mean? Only that the founders of the order seem to be using the dead to communicate with us. The prophecy has been secret for many centuries. It is known only to a select few. There is no way she could have known of it unless they managed to tell her somehow. Praise be to God. What prophecy? It is written that a pure-hearted warrior will claim the power of the Lords of Shadow as his own and use it in order to overcome all evil. It is said this warrior would become God's vassal on Earth, supremely powerful. He could do anything. The Founding Spirits have not abandoned us, Gabriel. Thanks to your Marie, we now know there is some hope. We have to enter the lands of the Dark Lords, you and I. We must reclaim the powers they hold and unite the heavens with this world once more. And don't you see, Gabriel? You can bring her back. If what you say is true, then we need to work quickly and in secret. The Lords of Shadow must not suspect we are on their trail. 
that they will turn all of their attention towards us. We should take different routes, you and I. I will head for the land of the Lycans. You leave for the territory of the vampires and prepare the way. Then we must go on to the Lord of the Necromancers together. His realm lies furthest. Our enemy must suspect nothing. Take this. It will allow you to absorb spiritual energy and will help cure your wounds. Good luck, my friend. May we be granted victory. Thank you, brother. You have given me renewed hope. Wait! Did you see the power that resides within those crystals? The crystals can be really useful in combat. You can find crystal shards scattered all over the place. I often go in search of them. How can I hear your voice? I'm not moving my lips. I have the gift. I can also read minds. Who are you? My name is Claudia, and he is my protector. He looks after me. In return, I catch evil souls so that he can absorb their energy. Without it, he will stop working. But there's something different about you. That you seem good somehow, so we won't kill you. I'm relieved to hear it. It's okay. Let me read your thoughts. No! What is it? What's wrong? You are here to kill the Lords of Shadow and take their power. You mean to save us all. And bring the one you love back. I am not afraid. We are coming with you. You won't make it on your own. No, Claudia. I must do this alone. I know the way. You don't. You need me. You need him. Very well.
For thousands of years, this city overflowed with life. It was a sanctuary of magic, wisdom, and harmony. These people were the ones that created the crystals, which you've already seen. They didn't need armies for protection. Their powers were enough to thwart any threat. That is, until the Lycans came. Then the balance changed. Trolls, goblins, gremlins, creatures of nightmare besieged the city endlessly, day and night. Most fled. Others used their remaining powers to create huge titans to fight against the invaders. The battle lasted centuries until there was no stone left standing. No one left. Those that did not die in battle were captured and devoured. My father was one of the last. He hid me. He created the Black Knight to be my protector. We have been running ever since. The Titans outlived their creators and stayed here fighting against an enemy that outnumbered them until even they were defeated. All except one. Behind those doors awaits the last of those Titans. The only way to reach the Sanctuary of the Dark Lord is through that door. We will have to defeat the Titan if we wish to continue our journey. The door will only open with the power of a crystal. You need to find four shards to create a whole crystal. We will wait for you here while you look for them. Titans are no more. She was the last of her kind. Shall we go on? We should rest. Night is coming. I 
no place. First time I touched your face, I have seen my fate. I am ready. Do not let the darkness possess you, Gabriel. You must remove the gauntlet from the night. It is a key. And the moment will come when you will be in great need of it. No. I will have to continue without it. I will not harm it. I am afraid it is far too late for that. I have come to fulfill the prophecy. My acolytes were not lying. A warrior from the Brotherhood, here on Lycan soil. I wonder, warrior, if you know where you are, and who I am. I am on desecrated land, and you, and those of your clan, do not deserve to live. <laughs> you say you are here to fulfill a prophecy. You and the other Lords of Shadow are protecting a power in your centuries. I have come to reclaim that power. You, alone, you dare enter my inner sanctum and dictate your petty mortal terms to me. I am immortal, little man. And your pathetic prophecy is known to me. But you are ignorant. Ignorant of the real truth of your situation. It is you who are ignorant. Ignorant of the pain and suffering you have brought to this land. Hear me. Many centuries ago, three great warriors founded the Brotherhood of Light, the order to which you belong. 
Their sole purpose was to serve God and defeat the devil. For decades, the Founders fought fiercely against the spawns of Satan, and finally tipped the Equilibrium in God's favor. Such was their commitment to the Crusade, that their studies in Holy Enlightenment led them to three sacred places, where the power of God converged with such intensity that it forged a bridge between the spiritual and the real. The Founders used that power to purify themselves, abandoning their human forms and transforming them into spiritual beings whose power was second only to God's. You tell me nothing that I did not already know, beast. Little did they realize that what they left behind were not their carcasses devoid of souls, but instead the dark sides of themselves. Don't you see? That is how we came to be. We, who you call the Lords of Shadow. No. You lie. This place is where one of your founders ascended into heaven, and where I was born. This is the place where, according to your prophecy, a warrior of light will reclaim the power of my beloved brother in heaven, and I too will diminish. If that were to occur, he would die with me, because we are still the same being. He and I, still connected. Kill me, and you kill him. Kill us all, and you will kill the sentry founders of your own order. Ah, oh, brother. Even you have to smile at the irony of it all. Perhaps he is willing to sacrifice himself for you. For the greater good. I, however, am not. Make haste, my love. Reclaim the power before it is lost. Oblivion. Sempiternal. Daemonis. Unite the two that remain. Come with me. 
Our time is running out. Where are we? What is this place? The Crow's Pass. The land of the vampires lies beyond those hills. A powerful witch protects this domain. I can go no further. Who are you? And why do you help me? You may think I am helping you. But you would be wrong. I serve no one. You would do well to remember that. Thank God that you are still among the living, my friend. The Lycan Lord has been defeated. I have his power. What happened here? I congratulate you on your victory. But these fellows were not so fortunate. Word has spread of our quest. The vampire clan have slaughtered this entire village. And now, they are expecting us. That abbey. I am told the abbot possesses an ancient relic that harnesses the power of the sun. It is said to be capable of burning vampires and reducing them to ashes. That relic protects the abbey and all who take refuge there. But the abbot has barricaded himself inside and filled the building with deadly traps to deter visitors. After years of isolation, some say he has been driven quite mad. He resides up there, in the tallest of the towers. If we could persuade him to give the relic to us, it would give us a tremendous advantage over the vampires. But it won't be easy. Mad or not, damn him for not protecting his people. No! No! Get away from me! I know who you are. The devil has sent you. You are demons who serve him! He told me you'd come. He does it to torment me! Your people perished while you hid behind the one thing that could have saved them. You don't deserve to call yourself a man of God. Gabriel. No! It's mine! You can't take it! There is a need far greater than yours. You cannot take it! You are not worthy! Don't leave me here, you dogs! Curse you! Damn you to hell!
Please, help us. What is it? What's happening? They want you, sir. They want you alone. You must go to the village, or they will kill us all. You do realize it's a trap. I know. But still, I must go. Do what you must. I'll take care of the boy. Hello. Have you come to play? The board is ready for you. Do you like it? I'm looking for... Don't you want to play? I am here for the Dark Lord. I'll tell you where she is, if you play my game. She? Mother doesn't like visitors. But I'll show you where she is, if you play! I don't have time for your games. I must find her now. Then I won't help you! Fine. You won't ever find her. Only I know the secret way. I'll let you make the first move. It's not fair! I never lose! You're a cheat. And you're going to pay! I told you I was going to win! <laughs> Nobody beats me! Do you hear? Nobody! Don't resist. Embrace sweet death. Marie. Fight it, Gabriel. This is not your time. Not now. Too much relies on you. I have nothing left. I have done questionable things. I have failed.
I envy you. I envy you both. I don't want to play anymore. I am told that you are looking for me, warrior. That you seek to obtain the power of my... other half. You are brave and handsome. Would you not prefer to stay with me? Forever. I can show you many things. Many pleasures. Your empty promises mean nothing to me. You and your brothers have betrayed us all. You are the reason why the world is in darkness. <laughs> you are a fool, Gabriel. You think I don't know who you are? My sister in her piety wanted nothing but good for the world. But in her arrogance she begat me and brought doom upon herself. Mankind is ruined. And you must choose sides, warrior. I choose life, not death and decay as you have. Death is merely a question of perspective. We are not so different, you and I. Your god cannot save you now. You will be one of us eventually. It is inevitable. No. I will take the three powers and unite them. You would kill those who founded your own holy order. You are even more cold-blooded than I. Who is the real monster here? Gabriel. You poor deluded fool. You think you can bring someone back from the dead, don't you? Someone you love. You are betrayed. There is no resurrection. Only this living death you see before you. Join her then.
Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. Soon, the destiny of every living being will be in the palm of your hand. I now know that the Founders of the Order created the Lords of Shadow. They are one and the same. They ascended into heaven as pure spirits, but left behind their dark sides. Why are we paying the price for their arrogance and stupidity? Tell me, what am I fighting for? Only when we look inside ourselves can we truly begin to understand. What is this sorcery? How far are you prepared to go to uncover the truth? It appears that our paths cross once more. But one path must end here. I grow tired of your riddles. Speak clearly for once. Nothing is ever completely clear, warrior. You are shrouded in darkness. You act as though blind to the truth. Let me enlighten you. Why did you make me fight you? Because... This is how... It must be. We must all make sacrifices... In order to find... Redemption. No! I did not want this. I did not ask for this. Blood must be spilt... For this path to be opened to you. 
I accept my fate? Can you accept yours? Uh... I am not worthy. I am not of pure heart. Impressive, warrior. I'm amazed you've come this far. I have come to end this, sorcerer. By whose authority? What right do you have to judge me when so much blood has been spilt by your own hands? Look at you. You revel in death. We are one and the same. You and I. You will not stop me. <laughs> no, I will not stop you. Look upon me, hypocrite. Gaze upon glorious death.
Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. Congratulations. You have done well, my friend. I see you have united the powers. Excellent. We can now end this. Once and for all. Come. Yes. Let's bring an end to this charade. Finally, it is time for the truth. Let us remove our masks. the lord of the necromancers the final lord now you begin to understand yes gabriel it was i who cast the spell that separated the earth from the heavens i knew this would force my brothers and sister in heaven to contact the order here on earth the prophecy was their little ray of hope in the dark we lords of shadow as you call us have been impotent for far too long fixed in an uneasy truce for many centuries, each possessing our share of the power, but each unable to have mastery over the others. Until now. I grew so tired of these years of proliferation, a constant truce between the three of us, each unwilling to concede or cooperate with the others. They were too blind to see the potential in the power we held. If only it were combined. I desired that ultimate power and was prepared to probe the very depths of hell in search of knowledge to acquire it. I fought hordes of demons and became strong. Then a force so vast and terrible entered into me, expanding my knowledge of the dark arts until it reached unimagined heights. All I needed was someone to restore the luminous power of the spirits according to the prophecy, and you have been the perfect dupe. Of course, I couldn't arouse their suspicions that it was I who desired the power for my own. No, I used the prophecy as my cover. And you, my shining knight. I will not allow you to stand in my way, Zobek. I'm sure you won't. But you really have no say in the matter, my dear friend. I could quite easily kill you for your insolence. But fortunately, there is no need. What do you mean? The Gauntlet will do it for me. As I told you, Dark power is my dominion, forged in the pits of hell, no less. There was just the small matter of the child and her protector. But you came through with flying colors. I needed your strength of will and courage to complete the quest, but I couldn't risk you becoming too powerful. I needed to control you at the end, once you had murdered them. I knew you would never be able to challenge me whilst wearing it. Poor little Claudia. Such a sweet thing. No. You have exceeded even my wildest expectations, killing and butchering your way to victory. There is a terrible darkness in you, my friend. Your burning desire to resurrect your darling Marie has blinded you to it. As you slept, 
I was able to influence you with this mask. But even I did not foresee the beast that lay within. It was all too easy to make you kill them. Your penchant for murder and death were insatiable. You just needed a little nudge, and off you would go in search of the one thing that could bring her back. Yes, Gabriel, now you finally understand. It was you who murdered your wife. No! You lie! Bastard! Search your soul, Gabriel. You know it to be true. I was worried she would reveal my charade to you at the lake. But it seems she had a false hope that even a killer such as you could redeem himself and save the world. Even the child, Claudia, could see her own demise at your hands. And yet she also trusted in you to the bitter end. Glorious, isn't it? God himself sees you for what you are. A cold-blooded murderer. Beyond redemption? Beyond hope. Let me free you of your heavy burden. Goodbye. Old friend. <laughs> Hail, mighty Zelbeck. Who's there? Who? Don't you remember me? I came to you in the void. I granted you knowledge and power. Power that you could never have obtained on your own. Surely you haven't forgotten. In fact, I planted the idea for this whole elaborate ruse into your tiny mind in order to serve my own higher purpose. I no longer need your assistance. The power is now mine. No! Before the end, you will bow down to me! It is your time, Gabriel. Don't be afraid. Come with us. Join us. Get away from him. Don't wake him. Don't touch him! You cannot have him! <laughs> if you take him, we are all lost. Darkness will triumph, and there will never, ever be peace or hope. We will be trapped here forever. Don't you see? 
We must grant him the power to go Will back. Will he free us? Will we see the light that was promised? I believe in him. His heart is pure. He is our last hope. Our only hope. So, he has abandoned you too. So be it. Join me. I will love you more than he. I was adored once above all others. I too didn't deserve to be cast out, abandoned. Now you know what that feels like, don't you? Hate can bring us back, give us strength, embrace it. It is what is in men's hearts that he cares about. He loves you as he loves me. We have only to ask for forgiveness deep within ourselves and be welcomed back. You monkeys don't deserve redemption. It is my divine right to rule by his side, as an equal, or perhaps more than that. You would rather rule in power and might than to offer forgiveness and love. This is why you are cast out, unholy one. You dare to challenge me? You will die for your blasphemy! Your soul belongs to me! I did unknowingly. 
Yet I would change everything if I could. He isn't listening, Gabriel. Your fate is fixed. Every man has the power to repent. I have faith in that. Forgive me. Forgive me. My God. I will have such fun with your Murray. I will introduce her to such pleasures. Her soul will go only to him. Once I have finished with you. Angel! My love. Man, life. No. I do not want this. Why has my life been given back to me? It is your fate. You have been given back what was wrongfully taken from you. To repent your sins. To make amends. But without you? You freed them all. You saved us all, my Gabriel. I couldn't save you. I knew I could not tell you, or despair would have eroded your resolve and everything would have been lost. I had faith in you, hoped that you would be strong enough to free the world, and you did not let me down. I am not worthy of your faith, your love. I am nothing. You are a good man, Gabriel. You are as God intended. Fallible, yet capable of great things. I loved you then, as I love you now. I see before me a man who has regained God's favor, and who has my forgiveness, and the forgiveness of all the lost souls of this world. You have saved us all, and you have saved yourself. The mask is a powerful device. It allows us to see through God's eyes. Can it really bring the dead back? Yes. Look. Too late for me, my love. I cannot come back. No. No, don't go. It is my time. The light is calling. I am not no. afraid. Please, stay. Stay with me. It's beautiful, Gabriel. So beautiful. It's calling to me. Calling. I love you, Marie. I love you.
An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobak. Yes, old friend. It is I. Where have you been all this time? Out there. Amongst the living. And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. Isent Dracul. No doubt you once were. But alas, look at you now. Hmm. A mere shadow of your former self. Shadow, am I? What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. He is unlikely to welcome both of us with open arms. Don't you think? Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. It is time to get out of this wretched tomb you have made for yourself. Stop skulking in the shadows. Don't you care that he will enslave you? I know what it is you yearn for. I cannot die. Yet. I cannot live. Help me. And I can free you of your immortality.